Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you two different ways that you can install Junkjack X Worlds on your iOS device. The first option uses a computer program called iExplorer. This option works with both non-jailbroken and jailbroken devices. The second option is iFile, and that one only works with jailbroken devices. Before we get started though, I want to go over some of the files that you're going to need and run into while installing Junkjack X Worlds. In Junkjack X, there are three different types of worlds, Adventure, Creative, and Standalone Planets. With all the worlds, you get .dat files, and you get a .dat .back file. However, with Adventure Worlds, you get an extra folder. In this folder, it holds more .dat and .dat .back files from all the different planets and worlds that you have visited just in that Adventure World. With that information out of the way, you can see that today we are indeed installing an adventure world. If it was just a creative or just a standalone world, we would only have these two files. With that out of the way, let's get on with the iExplorer option for installing worlds. What the iExplorer program lets you do is open up your device and basically have access to nearly every file. Be sure to put a link in the description to the iFile download. Keep in mind that there is a demo version and a full version, but for what we're doing today, you're only going to need the demo version. After you've downloaded iExplorer and have the world file you want to install, go ahead and open up iExplorer and plug your device into your computer. You can see here today I'm using Elfie, aka my iPhone 5C, which is not jailbroken by the way. First thing you're going to want to do is come over to the sidebar on the left, double click on apps, scroll down till you find Junkjack X, double click on that again, go up to documents, double click again, and then worlds. Here you will see all of your world files, and now from here it's pretty simple. Over here is the world that I would like to add. So I'm just going to copy all the worlds, drag them over, and just put them in. Keep in mind that sometimes iFile can be a little buggy and it won't let you just drag over your files. So I'm going to show you what to do if that happens. So if iFile is being a little derpy for you, you're going to want to come up here, left click on this top bar, go to add files, search through until you find the files that you want, select them, and then open them. You can notice it didn't add the file though, so we're going to need to come up here and add a new folder. Be sure, whoops, be sure to left and then right click and that will make it so that you can rename it. And be sure to name it exactly what it would be, so it would be world. If I could type, that would usually help. There we go. Yes, we would like to save and then you need to open up this file, go to the top go to add files, click on the world file that you want to save, copy the two files in it, and carry it over. So you're essentially, you just made this file over here, you just remade the folder for it, and then transferred all the files over. Now onto the second option, which is iFile. Again, this can only be done on a jailbroken device. You have to get iFile through Cydia. Just go in there and search for iFile. It should be the first one. For downloading the file, I'm just going to use Safari. I have a media fire that has my download that I want, so I'm just going to download it real quick. Now that I have my file downloaded, I want to open it in iFile. Once everything is open, click Unarchiver. It's going to go through all of this, hit done, and then we go into world, and here is our three files. So we're going to go ahead and select all and then we want to come down to this clipboard and hit copy slash link. We can hit done and go back to the home page. Now if this is your first time using iFile, you want to come over to this little cog on the left, go into file manager and click application names on. If you don't have that on, it's just going to be a bunch of numbers and letters and literally nothing will make sense. So now we're back at the home. We want to go applications. We want to scroll through till we find junk check X. Go documents and then worlds. These are all of my worlds. And then I just want to touch and hold and then just paste. It's going to paste in all of those files and then there we go. 
Um, there's the world.dat, the world.dat.bec, and if we scroll up, there's the world file. So everything is installed. And that is about it for today's tutorial. If you ran into any problems or you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I will try to answer as many of them as I can. And I think that's about it. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.